This video will show you how to export thousands or millions of images or files from your database using SQL Image Viewer. In this example, our result set contains only 200 images, but you will follow the same procedure if your result set contains 200,000 items or 200 million items. First we write the query to retrieve all the images and files we want to export. Instead of displaying all the rows from the result set, we choose to retrieve and display only the first row. Click on the Export Images and Files button to start the export wizard. We will name the images using the value from the ID column. You can see that all 200 images from our results set has been exported, even though we only retrieved a single row to display. That's the only extra step you need to do when you want to export a lot of images or files, which is to retrieve only the first few rows from the result set. We explain why in the next part of this video. By default, SQL Image Viewer will retrieve and display the complete result set from your query. This is possible when your computer has enough memory to fit the entire result set. In this example, our result set contains a lot of large images, taking up almost 700 megabytes of memory. When we export the images, there is no change in the memory usage, because all the images have already been loaded into your computer's memory. Now see what happens when we choose to retrieve only the first row. SQL Image Viewer retrieves only the first row, and uses very much less memory. Let's start the export wizard, and see what happens. As each row is exported, the data is discarded and the next row is retrieved. This means that SQL Image Viewer never has to store the entire result set in memory, thus allowing it to export thousands or millions of rows easily. Download a 14-day trial now, and experience how SQL Image Viewer makes it easy to work with blob data in your databases.